Hello everyone! How are you doing? It's Amanda from HeismanHealth.com and we're going to sing a little bit while I wait, while I um, try to multitask and share this and wait for you guys to hop on because it always takes a few minutes. So, if you're watching the replay, I apologize. This is the part where you fast forward three minutes unless you'd like to sing along with me in all of my singy voices until I get going here. Hey, April. Hello, Mr. Kilroy. Hi. Hi, friend. How you doing? It's good to see you. How's hot, hot Texas? Oh my gosh, it's hot here. Man, is it hot. Baby, it's hot outside. Um, baby, it's hot outside. See, I'm, we're gonna... Do you like to sing, April? April, you strike me as someone who likes to sing. Oh! <laughs> Tony Beckett, hey! <laughs> Japan is wicked hot, yo. It is so... I'm in Grenoble, France right now. It is super hot. Where in the world are you? I'm in Grenoble, France. It's still blazing hot. Here we go with the singing. You guys ready? Um, hot town, summer in the city. Back of my neck getting something in gritty. Cool town, isn't it a pity? Doesn't seem to be shadow in the city. All around me people looking half dead. Walking on the sidewalk. Blah, 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 blah. Go out, it's a different world. Go out and find a girl. Come on, come on and dance all night. Just like the day, it'll be all right. And babe, don't you know it's a pity the days can't be like the nights in the summer. In the city, in the summer, in the city. I just got back from karaoke and I'm thankful you aren't tone deaf. <laughs> thankful I'm not tone deaf either. Uh, I suck at singing. April, well then, dance. Hey, friends. Hi, guys. As you're jumping on, say hi. Thongs. Um, but that wasn't a very, like, French song. <laughs> um, I am... Right... Here... South, east, um, I'm confused, Delta Town Delta, <laughs> I am, I, and I'm in, um, Grenoble, France, it's a place I've been coming since 2003, since my, since my college days, which is where I know Tony from, hey Susan, and, um, and, um, it's hot. It's freaking hot here. But we already sang about it being hot, so now as you guys jump on, let's sing the most French song I know, and it'll give um, everybody a, another chance to join, and then we'll get into the meat of things, um, which is actually about Paris, not about Grenoble. But hey, Susan. Hey, Raja. Hey, Rachel. Um, which is... Champs-Élysées. Cheers, Tony. <laughs> Japan. Um, it's so cool that you guys are joining from all over the world. Here's a fun fact. Le Monde is, uh, I don't know if you can see that with the glare. Gosh, it's so hot. Um, is is un what, what my business was going to be named before it was going to be named Heisman Health. Okay, so... Je me balade sur l'avenue, le coeur ouvert à l'inconnu. J'avais envie de dire bonjour à n'importe qui. N'importe qui, ce fait toi, je t'ai dit n'importe quoi. Il suffisait de te parler pour t'apprivoiser. Oh, Champs-Élysées, bourrout, bourrout, bourrout. Oh, Champs-Élysées, bourrout, bourrout, bourrout. Au soleil, sous la pluie, à midi ou à minuit, il y a tout ce que vous voulez aux Champs-Élysées. Tu me dis, j'ai rendez-vous dans un sous-sol avec des fous qui vivent la guitare à la main du soir au matin. 
Alors j'étais accompagné, on a chanté, on a dansé, et on n'a même pas pensé à s'embrasser. Oh, Champs-Élysées, oh, Champs-Élysées, au soleil, sous la pluie, à midi ou à minuit, il y a tout ce que vous voulez aux Champs-Élysées. Hier soir, deux inconnus, et ce matin, seul avenu, deux amoureuses, tout étourdies par leur longue nuit. Et de l'étoile à la concorde, un orchestre à mille cordes, tous les oiseaux du coin du jour chantent l'amour. Oh, Champs-Élysées, oh, Champs-Élysées, au soleil, sur la pluie, à midi ou à minuit, il y a tout ce que vous voulez au Champs-Élysées. Okay, we're about to get into the actual subject at hand, but Tony asks, have you ever shown pictures of yourself in college? And I'm sure I have, but here's another one just for... Just for fun. Look at us. We're all little babies. That would have been... Well, I... Yeah, that was the very first. That was 2003. Although, the date on the picture says 1996. You know how that goes. This is the days when you still printed pictures off. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that musical intro while I got myself situated here and told you how hot it was and where I'm at in the world. I wanted to come on today. See, I'm glistening because it's so hot. I wanted to come on today and talk about something that's really important to me. Um, because um, you guys know, you know, I've been out there in the world as a health coach for a few years now. And um, this year... I started calling myself the intuitive nutrition and energy coach. So what does that mean is actually what we're going to talk about. And, um, and this is said with so much love and so much clarity um, that I just want to... I just want to, you know, I, I'm out there with recipes and I talk about foods and it's all important to talk about. But if we don't talk about this thing, it makes everything else kind of irrelevant. You're welcome. So, um, so I want to say, for the love of all things that are holy, including your beautiful body, please, 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 please do not come to me if what you want is a meal plan, um, especially if all that you want is a meal plan. If you want a list of do's and do nots around your eating, uh, if you want me to just tell you what to do and you'll do it, um, that's not what I do. That's not the kind of coach that I am. Um, if you are uninterested in uncovering any of the whys behind why you might eat the way you do, if you're uninterested in uncovering any of your beliefs around nourishment, or at least being open to the idea, please don't come to me. Um, I teach a woman how to fish and probably bake it up real nice with some nice spices and then eat it really mindfully too. Um, if you want, a, if, if, if what you want is just a meal plan, if what you want is just a list of do's and do nots, there are so many um, types of, um, of programs out there. There are so many health coaches that would be willing to help you beloved health coaches. I love holistic health coaches, right? Um, you know, integrative, holistic, I am those things as well. Um, <clears throat> but there's literally thousands of people who could help you if that is what you want to do. Um, if you want to kind of stay on the surface there. 
Um, there's, you know, you could go do a Whole30, you could go do a raw food challenge, you could go do a vegan challenge, you could go do a paleo challenge. There's a million things you could do, right? Oh, I've, I've seen people have lots, and I'm not poo-pooing any of these things. I've seen people have so much success and explore and and explore with these things. Um, these are great things, and I honor you if that is what you want to do. I just won't be the one helping you, okay? There's so many groups out there. You can go do uh, whatever, a beach body challenge, a whole food challenge, a whole 30, whatever. These are great things. These are great things, right? Great things. <clears throat> if, however, you would like to, um, if, if you maybe suspect that there is something deeper, to, there is some divinely awesome reason why you do the things you do and eat the way you eat, um, and if you would like to be held in a space of non-judgment while we dive deep and connect to your inner knowing, then let's chat. Then I might be the right person for you. If you are up for that sort of research and exploration in your body, um, then I invite you to, to talk to me. Okay, this doesn't mean that we won't talk about recipes and food. Of course we will. Of course we'll talk about those things. Of course, we'll, we'll build a meal plan together. We will um, explore one habit at a time. And uh, because there is bio-individuality at play here, right? So those of you that know how I work, you know I'm very holistic in the sense that I believe we are whole beings uh, we can't just address the physical, right? Because what happens, we have, nearly all of us have been through this, right? Where we follow, where we are in an energy of dieting, we diet, and then we lose 10 pounds and then we gain 20 back. Or we lose 20 pounds and we gain 10 back, or whatever, right? Um, that, because we aren't getting to the root of any reasons or any inner exploration of why we might do the things we do. Hey, Kelly. Um, thank, yeah, how cool to see you and love your wonderful advice. Awesome. I'm glad that it's serving you. Um, so there are great, wonderful reasons why we do the things that we do. And... Um, and I use my education, my intuition, my experience to offer and suggest maybe things that might help you. They're all by invitation. Just as all of the, you know, free content that I put out there in the form of posts and recipes is all by invitation. If that resonates with your body and with your and with you, great. Um, but but, oh, I was talking about holistic, right? So we got mind, body, emotions, spirituality, all four wheels on the car pointed the same direction. It's so important, right? Mind, like the physical, the mental, the emotional, the spiritual, all going in the same direction. So that's what holistic means. That's what integrative means, right? And we're, like, I... In the sense, in the space of, in the energetic space that I hold you in, of, of non-judgment, of exploration, of research, um, this is counterculture to everything that we've been exposed to and so much judgment around what we eat, right? Especially as women, uh, especially in the sense of, um, in, in the sense of um, how we feel about our bodies, Right? This is very different than that, but it's very important. So what I'm saying is I, I use my, there are, there are trends, right, as humans. <laughs> there are trends. Bio-individuality means that um, what's right for one person isn't necessarily right for the next. We know this innately, but we still go search outside of ourselves for someone to tell us what to do. Um, but there are trends, there are trends in the human race, right? Most of us do 
really well with more with with adequate uh, vegetables and water and sleep and movement and love in our lives right we do really well with those things most humans do really well with those things beyond that maybe there's an exploration to do you know that you know Mary Jane has a sensitivity to dairy but Betty Sue um, loves dairy but she can't have um, she can't have gluten whatever like you know these things innately we do this exploration right um, anyway so uh, so uh, everything I do is simply uh, offer is simply a suggestion is um, using my intuition my experience my education and we're all intuitive um, is an invitation to try how things work in your body and on the flip side then we do exercises and um, and and practices to get you in touch with your own body knowing even more right even uh, to to bring out that divine body knowing for yourself so I would never tell you do and do not I would I would just simply not do that I would never condemn you creating your experience I would never invalidate the truth of the oneness in that way there is an energy there is an energy inside of every human that will give you the information that you seek around food around nourishment around herbs around supplements all I am is the guide on the side holding you in that space helping you connect to your inner knowing okay and I truly believe this is important to me I truly believe that the future of healthcare is not doctors in offices that we go see but it is um, educators people it is education uh, of connecting people to their own inner sense of knowing for self-healing it's education on self-healing right so the future of healthcare I'll say that again because it's really important and it's really empowering the future of healthcare is not doctors in offices the future of healthcare is education on self-healing because you are that powerful I'm that powerful you are that powerful you have an intuition you have a body knowing you have an energy inside of you that knows exactly what you need for nourishment and when I say nourishment that could be food that could be a million things that could be relationships that could be how you spend your time um, that could be the career that you are choosing <clears throat> but if illness is a is a is a restriction if illness is like a restriction of our own sense of divinity when did we first learn that we weren't divine so we do exercises on resonance and resistance to con to because your body will always show you the way it will resist or it will resonate so how often do we have those senses of knowing our bodies echo echo right so how often do we have those senses that that, that sense of knowing and we just kind of push it to the side and go a different way um, someone actually called me um, this in joking like in passing conversation like a few months ago someone I told someone that I was a health coach and they said oh so you're a professional nag <laughs> and um, I laughed at the time because you know it was just a joke it was in passing and I laughed mostly because I could remember at the beginning of my health coach career when I really did feel like a professional nag of do you know of as I said at the beginning do's and do nots And if you guys are just joining hi um, definitely watch from the beginning we're having a really important and interesting conversation here um, but I, I laughed because I could remember at the beginning of my career when um, um, of my health coaching career when I when I would just um, feel like a nag right um, but I don't anymore because I don't attract um, folks like I said at the beginning who aren't ready to do the deeper dive who aren't ready to 
because aren't you just so, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I am so over it. I am so over the adversary, the old school ideas around food, having an adversarial relationship with food, these ideas that keep us in restriction around what we have to eat, the diet mentality, the victim mentality around nourishment, right? Um, I am over it. <laughs> I'm so over it, right? And that doesn't mean we won't have self-sabotaging behaviors. We all do, all the time. Number one self-sabotager right here, okay? But um, we work through it. We work through it in a program. It's part of the program. Um, yeah, so the the energy of nourishment, if you're, if I have a feel, I am so over that restrictive, victim mentality, old school ideas, diet mentality, shoulds and should nots, stop shooting on me. No, like done. <laughs> the energy of nourishment is open and free. I have a feeling that you guys are too. I have a feeling that if you're at all um, interested in what I have to say, that you are probably over it too. Um, I, I have a feeling. So the, the the energy of nourishment is open, it's free, it's expansive, it's, um, it is joyful, it's intuitive, like we know what nourishes us, we have, it's empowering, it is a recognition of the divine in us. Deep breath with that one. So, to recap, your body will teach you. I simply provide the exercises, I hold the space, and the guide on the side. Your body will teach you. You don't actually need me. You don't actually need me. You are a powerful co-creator. You can tap into that knowingness all on your own. But if you want a little guidance, here I am. And maybe I don't resonate with you. Maybe somebody else does. Maybe a different coach does. Or maybe you, like I said at the beginning, um, you are in a place where what you resonate with is a Whole30 or a, um, or a, a vegan challenge or a paleo challenge or whatever is out there. Great! Go do it. Go do it. But if you are interested in diving deep into the whys and the beliefs you have around nourishment and why we do the things we do, Everyone needs to work with their own sense of knowing, their own inner state of being. And, um, and if that resonates with you guys, if you feel the, re the resonance and not the resistance, I invite you to, um, to schedule a session with me. I'll link it above or below or wherever it shows up. Um, my single clarity consults are, are going up in price in, uh, the second week of September. So I, I, you know, if you want to get it while it's still, get it while it's hot, um, book before then. I'm headed to, from South East France to South West towards the Spanish border of France then. I'll be here for another few weeks. I also invite um, all my ladies out there to my group Intuitive Eating for Energy. We're going to start an intuitive eating series to kind of like an intro to intuitive e eating to practice some of these things. Um, and we do talk, you know, we do talk about meal planning. Meal planning is important. Um, it's just not, it's just, it's just skimming the surface, uh, right? And if you are in a place where that's kind of all you want to talk about is what to eat, you might benefit from one of my self-study programs like um, the Sugar Release Program or the Detox Program. So I invite you to check those out. And um, if you'd like to join my um, weekly newsletter list where I send out updates, you can do that at HeismanHealth.com. And... Um, and you will get my intro to intuitive eating class. It's only a 15 minute video, so it's pretty digestible. Anyway, <clears throat> I love you guys so much. I hope um, that you can receive that message in the spirit in which it was sent. And let me just check the comments. Whoa, hi you guys. Hey, 
Emma, Jamie, Savannah, hearts to you too. Stop shitting on me, I like it, yeah. Don't shit on me, I won't shit on you. All right, so you are a powerful creator of your experience. Um, you have a beautiful, divine, innate sense inside of you, an energy inside of you. We call that the intuition, right? That knows exactly what you need for nourishment. It's just a matter of connecting to it. So if all you want is a meal plan, please don't come to me. But if you would like to connect to your inner body knowing, let's chat. All right. I love you guys so much. I hope you're having a wonderful week. And until next time, salut.